This is a theme-specific overview for responsive Meals on Wheels sites in theme number three in Drupal 7. Other theme-specific trainings can be found on the support site at support.1h.com. You will also find other trainings for all of our responsive Meals on Wheels themes there. This training will show you how to manage the elements on the homepage, also known as the homepage overview. If you have any questions, again, please feel free to submit a support ticket. We're going to start at the very top of your homepage and work our way down on Meals on Wheels theme number three. If you notice any differences between your site and the uh, demo that I'm running today, that's okay. Again, you can submit a support ticket and our team can always help out. Okay, so starting at the very top. Anything in this white header area, whether it is your Meals on Wheels logo over here on the left, whether it is the pay for meals or the donate button, social media icons or your search feature, all of these items have to be edited by our support team. If you need to switch out the title for these buttons, the links for those buttons, as well as the links for your social media icons, um, those are all areas that our team does have to help you with. So you can submit a support ticket, or if you're in Basecamp working on a new uh, website, you can also send any adjustments to your Basecamp project management team. Underneath the white header area, we have kind of a turquoise or a light teal um, main menu. You do have the ability to scroll over the right side of the main menu, click on that little editing gear that appears, and then choose list links. This will give you the opportunity to edit any of the menu links here. You can drag and drop them in whatever order that you want to by just clicking on that four pointed arrow and dragging them in the order that you want them to appear. If you would like to create a drop down within the menu, all you have to do is click on one of those four pointed arrows and just drag it under the item you want it to appear. You'll see that it indents that item slightly underneath the other one, creating a drop down. Um, no changes will be made on this page unless you save your configuration. Um, if you do not have the ability to access the menu from this little editing gear over here, please go ahead and submit a support ticket. Our team can definitely help make sure that you can get to that shortcut. If you would like to find out more information about editing the main menu, go ahead and take a look at um, the specific main menu tutorial for all Meals on Wheels themes. Underneath your main menu, you have what we call your promo items. There are three promo items that sit on the home page right here. Um, you have the ability to switch out the icon, the title, the teaser text, as well as the link. You do not have the ability to create new promo items, but you can edit the existing, three existing items that already appear on your home page by clicking on the word content and within your content, go ahead and search specifically for the promo item content type. For more information about editing the three promo items that appear on the home page, go ahead and take a look at the theme specific tutorial um, for your promo items out on our support site. Underneath the three promo items on the home page, you also have a front rotor image slideshow. Now this slideshow is something that you can kind of click through to see different images. Each one of these images can link out to another page on your site or even off of your site if you need. Um, they do not have any text. Uh, there's no title or teaser text that appears over these images. They are just kind of a large static image that you could potentially click on as well as scroll through. If you want to create a new rotor image to appear in this slideshow, you'll go to content, add content, and front page rotor image. Please be aware those images do need to be at least 2,000 pixels wide by 510 pixels tall. If they are uh, larger than that, you can use a cropping tool, but please be aware you never have the ability to make smaller images larger on your website. Uh, if you would like to learn more about editing or adding any of those front page rotor image items, you'll want to go ahead and take a look at the Theme 3 specific tutorial out on our support site. Okay, moving along. Underneath your rotor images, we have kind of a social media slash menu feed. These two social media feeds should usually feed from Facebook or Twitter or something else 
chat. If you have any questions about your social media feeds or if you need any help editing those feeds, you can go ahead and submit a support ticket. Or if you're still in Basecamp, you can let your project management team know and they can help you update those social media feeds so they display correctly on the homepage. Now in the middle, you have what we call a current menu block. Now this block actually pulls menu items from CVCRM. Now, if you have any questions about how to create a new CVCRM event, so that way it appears as a test menu or as a menu item here on the homepage and on your monthly calendar, you can go ahead and take a look um, at some CVCRM tutorials out on our support site at support.1h.com. And last but not least, that takes us into the footer. This footer area in blue, um, you have the ability to edit the two menu blocks that appear right in the center of this area. You do not have the option to edit the logo, your uh, contact information, or any of the copyright information that appear in the footer if you have any questions or if you need any help to edit any of the blocks. Um, besides, of course, these two footer menus, you can go ahead and submit a support ticket, or you can also check out the helpful um, footer or footer menu tutorial that is listed for theme free out on our support site. Again, our team is available 24-7 for your, any of your questions. And if you're in Basecamp working on a new site, you can post any questions or issues in a new Basecamp message for your project team. And don't forget to watch any other helpful tutorials out on our support site at support.1h.com.